Hello friends and welcome to Friday Night Files. Today is truly, or tonight, is truly gonna be a Friday Night. We are not playing any boring ass simulator game. No, 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 no. Tonight we are playing The Stalked. I was requested to play this game. I don't know much about it. I only read the short description on Steam. And it sounds terrifying. So without further ado, I was, let's, let's check the graphics first. Ultra. Yeah, okay. It's, it's all on Ultra. So let's... Eh? Story. Start. Okay. Story. Escape from Liam's obsession. Kate seeks refuge in her grandpa's mansion. Strange occurrences raise questions about Liam's presence or another figure. Unraveling mysterious letters, Kate embarks on a journey seeking peace. Will she get the peace that she wants? I'm guessing no. Let's start. It's gonna be awesome, guys. Yeah. Love a good horror game. I hate to I had to break up with Liam and I hope he takes it well. Okay, it's not narrated. Okay, okay. So we are at our grandpa's mansion, I suppose. Grandpa? You in here, Gramps? Okay, we're hungry. I need to make some food. I'm hungry. Let's make some food then. Look at this place, yeah? Looks awesome. I would love to live in a place like this. Let's take a pan. Put it on the stove. Turn it on. And put some food in it. I guess. Where do we find the food? In the fridge, of course. Organic food. Okay, let's do some organic food then. On a can. Hello? Uh, should we turn the fuss? And we are... Someone's knocking at the door. Let's sprint. Because we don't want the food to burn, you know? Who's there? Oh, it's Liam. Hey, honey. Can I come in? Ugh, Liam, I told you it's over. So no, you can't come in. Come on, you can't just leave me like that. I love you more than anything. It's over, Liam. Just go home. Open the door, Kate. No, I'm not opening the door. I don't love you anymore, Liam. You will be mine again soon. No, I won't. Sounds like he walked away. Thank God. Yeah. Food should be ready now. It's probably burned. So Liam, our ex-boyfriend, is the stalker, I suppose. A bath to calm myself down a bit would be great right now. Sure would. Let's find the bathroom. Is this the bathroom? Really? Or the shower? No, this is not. <laughs> but it was a big ass shower, you know. Could be awesome though. Where's the bathroom in this place? Huh? Where's the bathroom? Is there no bathroom? What? How do we have a house without a bathroom? 
She wants me to go to the bathroom, but <laughs> where the hell is it? Is it in here? Ah, here it is. Here we go. This looks really nice as well. What a cool house. Uh oh. Liam breaking in? Get the F out of here, man. What window broke? There's no window broken. Uh oh. I don't know how long this game is. But we'll play until we don't feel like playing no more. They will just continue. Also, there is a stocked too, so we'll play both of them. So stay tuned for that. Leave a like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss part two. Give me another chance, please. I'll treat you well and do anything you want. I promise. Just one chance is all I ask. That can't be too much, can it? XO, XO, Liam. You psycho, you. No, no, no. I gotta leave before it does something worse. Yeah, can we get there? Do you want me to get the hell out of here? <coughs> oh, what? Hello? Oh, hey! Ah! Ah! You are never leaving me again. You got caught. Okay. Try again? Yeah. Uh, uh. Let's run out this way, maybe. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. F you, Liam. You crazy bitch. Son of a bitch. Uh, can we have a phone? Sunday, September 03. Gramps. Hello, Grandpa. I need your help. Hey, Kate. What's going on? Liam broke into my apartment and chased me. I barely got away. And now I'm in my car and with nowhere to go. That's horrible. Are you okay? Did he hurt you or something? No, I got away before I could do something. But I'm terrified he'll find me. Okay, I assume you're looking for a place to stay for a while? Yes. You can come live with me for as long as you need. However, I'm going to be out on a business trip for one week. That's fine. Still can't be safer than staying here. Can I go there right now? Yes, I'll send you the address. The key to my house is in a flower pot. Also, remember to keep the doors locked. And if you need to go outside, you can always check the peephole first. Always check the peephole, people. Okay, thanks again, Grandpa. You're a lifesaver. No problem. I hope all goes well. And don't hesitate to call me again. Awesome. Let's get the hell out of here. Ah! Scared the shit out of me, man. Go fast. Get the hell out of here. That was a close call. Thank God I made it out. Liam won't be able to find me. I have finally broken free from that toxic relationship. Here we go. Let's go to Grandpa's mansion. Hopefully Liam doesn't know where that is. 
I don't know how long they have been together. Would he know? I don't know. Oh no, did Leah manage to follow me here? I'm getting too paranoid now. Of course it's not him. Probably just a neighbor. Hopefully. It did turn off though. He did turn off. Is, it, is that even how you say it in English? It took another turn. <laughs> Press F to turn on your flashlight. I have a flashlight. No. Flashlight. I don't have a flashlight. Okay, it's under a flower pot, yeah? Is it this one? Yep. Let's go inside. Wow, it's dark in here. Let's turn on some lights and find the bedroom. I want to hit the bed ASAP. Let there be light. Guess bedroom is upstairs. Oh, it's a creaky old mansion. Let's turn on some more lights. Find the bedroom. Is it here? Nope. What's wrong with this chair, man? It's broken. Okay, not the bedroom. Wouldn't she know where her grandpa's bedroom is? This looks like a bedroom. Let's go to sleep. Hopefully Liam isn't gonna come here. That would suck, right? 3.55. Wow, I slept that long? Is it 3.55 in the, in the afternoon? Is Grandpa home already? Oh no, please don't be that Liam guy. Let's turn off the lights, you know. Save the electric bill. And let's use the peephole. The peephole? Like grandpa told us to do. There's no one out there. A letter though. Letter has been added to your collection. Okay. There is new resident of this mansion. I am the previous owner of this mansion and you are the person I have been looking for. I hope to see you stick around for a while. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. I will be watching you. That's a weird thing to say, yeah? In the letter. I'll be watching you. Watching me? This is strange, to say the least. That's what I said. I need to get going to the store before it gets dark though. Let's be careful. Yeah. Can we lock the door? We can. Yep. Let's go to the store. Convenience store. What's that? Some kind of paper? <laughs> okay. Some kind of paper lying around here. Poster has been added to your collection. Wow, it's creepy how similar how similar she looks to me. And what to say on top is that a missing person? 
Right mouse button to switch side. Ashley, missing since 15, 8, 20, 30. Please help us bring Ashley home. If you have any information, even the smallest detail, contact the police. Your assistance could make all the difference. This is horrible. I hope they find her. Left mouse button to exit. Press tab to look at the shopping list. Canned food, snacks, soda, milk, cereal, and the most important thing, wine. Lots of wine. Oh, hi there. Haven't you... Haven't seen you here before. Are you new? Yes, I just moved in. Where do you live? I don't feel comfortable telling you that. Are you alone? Um, I'm in a hurry. Sorry, I gotta go. Why are you asking so many questions? Can I have some money, please? Okay, let's find some canned food. Some snacks. Do we just talk to the store clerk or... I guess so, maybe. Hey, mister. Okay, nope. Yeah, some meatballs. Some chips. Some soda. You need to have a meatball, yeah? What else do we need? We need wine. Where's the wine? Milk? Got milk? Sure do. Cereals? Now we only need the wine, yeah? Who's that guy? Here's the wine. That's all. Let's go pay for this now. Do that. Hello, mister. Uh, uh, hello. Is that all? Yes. All right. The total is $22.50. Thank you for shopping here. Also, I can tell you, I can tell you are new to the area. How long are you staying for? No problem. I'm not sure yet. Not too long, I would assume. Alright, have a good day. And here are your groceries. Thanks, you too. Was that Lee I'm pulling in? Sure hope not. <laughs> Scared the effing shit out of me. Do you just jump out of... Of cars? Don't you open doors before jumping out of the car? Wow, man. You know, a young, beautiful lady like you shouldn't be out all alone like this. What do you want? I do have some wishes, but I think it's best they remain unspoken. Are there only creepy people in this game? Be careful and don't let me catch you all alone again. I don't need your warnings. Respect my space and stay away. Respect my tour tie. It's only creepy people in this game, man. What the f? Let's not forget the groceries in the car. Is there anyone around? No? Let's get inside. And lock this goddamn door. Door, groceries, and fridge. Can we have some lights here, please?
Here's the switch. Let's put the groceries in the fridge. Number. You look beautiful in the store today. How the F did that guy get my number? Can't wait to see you again. What the hell, man? Leave this poor girl alone. Getting closer. Huh? I'm soon there. Is is he inside or outside? I don't know. But we did close the door. Or what if I'm already there? Oh, hell no. Where can I hide? Is someone in here? I don't know. This is scary as shit, man. I'm here. Check the door? Uh, no. Wow. He got stalked, stalked, stalked at home. And we just came here and getting stalked again by some other dude. What the F, man? There's no one there. Are you seriously telling me? That I should open the door. Would you do that? If you got those text messages. Open the door. Hell no I wouldn't. It's a letter. Dearest new resident. Congratulations on settling in. You may believe this mansion is your refuge. But every step you take. Reveals a deeper game. I'm with you in every choice, every move. There's no escape from becoming mine. Holy fuck, dude. This is getting out of hand. I need to drive away and call the police before it's too late. Yep, let's do exactly that. Let's get the hell out of here again. And where do we go? We have no refuge. We have nowhere to go, man. No, not now. Start. Start. Oh. Please start. Come on. Why now of all times? Stuff like that always happens at the worst times possible. You know? So this is not unrealistic at all. Something's really wrong. I, I have to get inside and call the cops. Like right now. But I guess also maybe that the stalker has sabotaged the car, you know? Call the police. Press F to call the police. Don't mind if I do. But now I have no lights. You're standing here in pitch black darkness. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, hi, I need your help. I've been receiving threatening messages, letters and texts. I'm really scared. I'm here to help you. Can you please provide your location? I'm at beep 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 beep. It's urgent. I understand. I'm dispatching officers to your location right, uh, right away. Can you describe the nature of the threats? They've been watching me, following me. The messages are getting more intense. Please hurry. Stay on the line with me. Help us. Help us on the way. In the meantime, try to find a safe and secure location within your home. And make sure to lock your doors. The officer should be there soon. Yes, they are locked. Please hurry. Help us on the way. Stay strong. I'm here with you until the officers arrive. Someone just tried to open the door. Officers will be there any second now. Are we safe in here? I don't know. 
There we have the police. And now they are st they will be stalking me too. <laughs> Hello? It appears that everything is under control now. Our officers apprehended a man in a white van outside the residence. Well, that's great, man. Awesome. We are safe. We are bringing him in for questioning. If something else happens, don't hesitate to call us. Take care. Thank you for your help. I'll be sure to reach out if something else happens. I guess we're safe. Phew, what a relief. I never thought I'd feel safe again. But maybe things can get back to normal now. Should be safe now. Let's head to the basement outside and restore the power. Sounds like an awesome idea. Find the electrical panel. Do you guys believe we are safe? I don't really. I am not so sure. Let's find the electrical panel around here somewhere. Basement is open. Hello? Hello? Is this the electric? What? Heard someone or something. We have a light. The power should be back on now. But I did hear someone. Are we still not alone? I don't feel s safe at all. Can we go in through this door? I can. Close the door, unlock it, and for one suspenseful minute, I will leave you alone, and you can tell me if something scary is happening while I'm away. 30 seconds, guys. Anything scary happened? Did you just see my boxers? I sure hope not. Anyways, we're inside. I stink of sweat. Let's take a bath before I go to sleep. Let's find the bathroom then. It's right here. Did we... We did close the door, right? Sure hope so. Finally, a moment of peace. It won't last long. But why would that stranger go so far for me? Whatever is over. It's over now. <coughs> huh? Did someone just snap a photo? I'm so exhausted that I'm hearing things now. Let's just go to bed. Did someone just snap a photo? Hello? 
Hello? Oh. Save on the electrical bill. And the environment, you know. What was that? Am I just hearing things now? But this wasn't the bedroom. It was right here, man. Did I leave this door open? I usually close all doors, you know, when I go out of rooms. I suppose I didn't that time. What is that noise? Who's knocking? There's some light out there. Sounds like it's coming from the storage room. Uh oh. Hello? That was downstairs, right? Oh, let's not turn off the lights now. That's where I was hiding just earlier, right? In here? <laughs> now it stopped. It's a bad dream. Oh, the jump scares in this game, man. It's going to kill me. I hope it kills you too. I should probably call to check how Liam is doing. No, you shouldn't. I mean, the reason all this is happening to begin with is because I broke up with him. It's all my fault. If I had just stayed with Liam, he would have kept me safe. Really? Call Liam? Like, no. no. Of course not. What am I thinking? Let's put my mind on something else. But first, Let's make sure the house is empty. I still don't feel safe. Check the house. Of course we shouldn't call Liam. What's wrong with you? Is that really how girls are thinking? That it's all her fault now? It's not her fault at all. shouldn't stay with someone, you know, when you don't want to. No one here. That's the outside, yeah. Let's check the storage room where we heard that knocking in our bedroom. Something looks off about that book. Okay. It does stand out, that's for sure. Uh oh. Grandpa's secret room. This is where he hides all his. where he stash all his porn and. latex costumes. His big ass dildos. Right? Maybe not. <laughs> oh, yes. That's his sex dungeon. Yeah? It's my grandpa, Joseph Fritzel. If you don't know who Joseph Fritzel is, Google it. Look, honey. We made the news. Pretty cool, right? Rule our news. A sudden disappearance. Ashley's whereabouts unknown. 27-year-old Ashley was reported missing on August 15, 2013 by her husband two days after she disappeared from their home. 
last seen in their residence. Ashley's sudden absence has raised suspicions, with her husband emerging as a prime person of interest in the ongoing investigation. While authorities continue to search for leads, they urge anyone with information to come forward and assist in the search for Ashley, where she was last seen. They think our grandpa is... Is this crazy person? Is that why he all of a sudden, when we came, had to go? So he can... Stalk me? Or... Kate? I think was our name. I can't replace you, Ashley. There is no one that is as special as you. Did our... Grandpa kidnap Ashley? Why did you force me to do this? I never wanted to harm you. So this is day by day, 19th, the letter before was 18. My fault? How is it my fault? How is it my fault? I didn't want it to end like this. You left me with no other options. Okay, this is a couple of days later. What the fuck did I do? How am I gonna live on without you? What is the point of all this? I'm typing to a dead person. I will do anything to get you back. It's the same day. Is our grandpa the killer? Am I dreaming? I swear that it's you. She looks just like you. Have you come back to me 10 years later? I did look, we said we'd look like that, <coughs> that half a picture we found at the store. So was that stalker in here putting these up now? She's just as beautiful as you, as you were. She has to become mine. She will, no matter what. I can't let her run away from me like you once did. Ashley's skull Why would you want to leave me? I have done nothing but be good to you Whatever, it doesn't matter anymore You are never leaving me again So I guess all stalkers are some kind of delusional, you know I, It's probably about time I talk to grandpa about what's going on here This is crazy yeah, No shit, it's bad crazy Gramps Pick up the phone. Grandpa, are you there? Yes, has something happened? A lot has been happening. I received creepy letters and been followed by someone. I don't think it's Liam. I called the police and they arrested a suspicious individual lurking around the house. But when I thought it was all over, I found a strange hidden room in your house that contains some psychotic things to say the least. What? This is insane. Maybe the police arrested the guy leaving the letters? And a hidden room? I lived there for 10 years and never seen that. I'll be cutting this business trip short and coming home ASAP. I can't stand not being able to help you. I'd like to think they arrested him, but what if they didn't? What if he's still out there? What if they arrested someone who got set up? It makes me so uneasy just thinking about it. What do you remember about the person you bought this place from? That could definitely be the case. I remember that his wife had recently gone missing without a trace. It was the talk of the town for quite a while. And his name was... Are you serious? My phone ran out of battery and I didn't have time to bring my charger with me. That's not good. Let's go find a flashlight in case... A flashlight? In case I need one later. I think I remember seeing one in the basement. What's down here? 
Holy crap, man. I don't know. Do you want to do a long play of this game? I might do that. So it's maybe going to be a very long video. I don't know how long this game is gonna gonna last. I don't want to end an episode, you know, just before the end. You know? That'd be silly. Let's find a flashlight. This one right here. Press F to turn on your flashlight. Yep, working. Go back inside. Ah! Holy crap, man. <laughs> that was not a crow. That was a scarecrow. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me, though. Okay, we're back inside. Should search for a weapon just in case. Let's start by looking through Grandpa's office upstairs. Yeah, maybe find a baseball bat or something. So I guess this is the office. Have any kind of weapon in here? Yes, no? Maybe. It's got some snacks. <laughs> There's a key. Is that to the ba hey, can I take the key please? Take the key. Has to be grandpa, right? Why couldn't I take the key? Okay, maybe not yet. But we don't have a weapon. What can we use as a weapon? I can't go opening the door downstairs without a weapon, right? Can't open anything here. This is a good weapon. Take it. Okay, let's check the door. I really don't want to. Look out the window. See no one. Okay, let's check the door. Or the people. We can't even look at the people first. There's no people on this one. Look through the people. People before you open the door. Woman. <laughs> That's a creepy stranger. Hi. Sorry if I scared you. I just had to come clean about something. Uh, of course you did. You are the creep that talked to me earlier outside the convenience store. What do you want to come clean about? I know it was creepy, but it wasn't my idea. Liam told me to do it in hopes that you would take him back to feel safe again. What? You know Liam? I was supposed to take it a step further now but I couldn't do it I felt too sorry for you okay it all makes a lot more sense now thank you for telling me I still don't feel safe around you can you leave now please yes of course I am sorry again okay Lock the door. Really? It's night already? Yeah, it was just day when you... Before you... 
lock the door. Let's go to bed. Oh, it's just this creaky old mansion. <laughs> Every small sound scares the shit out of me. Someone at the door again. Did, did that come from the bedroom door? I sure as hell hope not. Oh! Someone was in here. Shit. You thought this was over. You feel helpless now, don't you? Your car doesn't work. Your phone is dead. The police think they got the person behind this. And you don't know where I am. There's nothing that can stop me anymore. How effing creepy is this man? What? What? What do I do? I know if I follow down the other path I saw when I first got here, maybe I can find some neighbors that can help me. Follow other path. Yeah, we saw a, oh, a car. You know. Uh, hello. Saw that car. You know when we came. Let's run like crazy. Let's get a hell out of here. It was somewhere somewhere down here to the left. Oh I hear rustling. Is it this way? Was this where it turned off? <laughs> this is scary as shit, man. Is this the right path? It's a car here. This is definitely Liam's car. Oh, hell no. Okay, this was not the path then. I am lost. I think. Could we go further down the road? We can. No, we can't. Follow other path. What other path, man? I just did. We only found Liam's car. That's the only way. Can we turn off here somewhere? Oh, I didn't see this. Do we really want to go down here? Hello? Liam, you stupid motherfucker. There's someone down there. I heard coughing. Hello? Should have a weapon of some sorts. Blood? Where do you see blood? Oh. Do we f want to follow the blood trail? Is that Liam? That... That's Liam. What happened to you? 
Why would someone do this to you? She is mine. Ah, uh, we did hear someone snap a photo. But is there a... A peephole? In the bathroom door? Or is it through the keyhole? I don't know. And only mine. Oh. He killed Liam. Press shift to sprint. I will. Do you want to venture further in here? There's a fucking coffin, man. Is this where Ashley is buried? I guess so. I think... These are Ashley's remains. What a sick and twisted individual her husband is. I don't even want to know what he would do to me. Holy crap, man. That's the door, you know, to our storage room. In grandpa's house. But I can't get all, go up there. Oh! oh, that's the cashier from the convenience store. Hey, I couldn't wait anymore. I need you now. My new Ashley. So, it was you who has been sending the letters. I know I look similar to your ex-wife. But that doesn't mean I can replace her. I don't care. How you look is more than enough. Come here. I've been waiting so long for this. No, no. I have to run before it's too late. Oh. Oh. Holy crap. Holy toaster. And holy air fryers as well. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, is the police? Are we safe now? The police arrived on the scene just in time, thanks to Grandpa. He hurried back home after the abrupt ending to Kate's phone call with him. When he arrived home, he re realized that Kate was nowhere to be seen. He got a sinking gut feeling that the worst might have happened. He called the police instantly, and they made it just in time. The relief Grandpa felt after the news was like nothing else. What happened to everyone else involved? The man in the white van said that his reasoning for being outside Kate's home was because he saw a stranger following her home from the store. Of course, the police didn't believe him when they saw no one else was there. But when the news broke free about this, the police realized their mistake and that he had actually been telling the truth. He was released the same day. Liam's accomplice was never seen again after the incident. The psychopath who killed his ex-wife Ashley, Liam and almost Kate ended up getting sentenced to life in prison. Kate is doing her best to recover from the incident, but it's difficult. At night, she often hears those daunting knocks on her bedroom door, disrupting her attempts to sleep. Throughout every day, she finds herself checking behind and scanning every corner, consumed by fear and paranoia. Thanks for playing. A horror game made by Solo developer Corvin Rular. Wow, what a game. So if you are considering stalking someone, stop it like right now. You're ruining someone's life. How creepy was this game? And there's a there's a part two 
to this game that we are definitely going to play. I think tomorrow. If you like this video, please give a like and subscribe. This game is going to stick in my head for the rest of the day, you know. Wow, this was creepy. Holy moly. Thank you all for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.